In this video series, we're going to give a trading bot $10,000 and see what happens over the course of a year. The video series will serve as a diary, a journal of our journey in progress. The goal is to make as much money as possible slowly and carefully over the next 365 days. Throughout this journey, you'll get to view regular updates and have the opportunity to track the account's progress. It's crucial to emphasize that there might be challenging moments along the way, so be prepared for both ups and downs. To keep things simple, starting with a nice round number like 10,000 makes it easier for you to follow along if, for example, you have a $1,000 account, as you can just divide the results and the orders by 10. Being the very first video in this series, we're going to kick things off by covering the very basics and ground rules. First, we're not going to be dealing with paper trading or simulated trading, Instead, we'll be using a spot trading account, which means only using money that I own. No leverage will be used. However, for those of you who have leverage available in your country, it can be a great tool to amplify your returns. We'll be using a strategy that allows us to backtest and live trade. It's able to adapt to market conditions with strategically placed entry and exit signals, as well as adjusting order sizes in real time. If you're interested in testing out the script we're using, you can get it for free by clicking the link for a seven day trial. And if you want to learn more about different dollar cost averaging strategies available in the script, you can check out some of our other videos here. DCA or dollar cost averaging is a way to invest small amounts of money regularly over time, which can help reduce the risk of losing a lot of money all at once. In dollar cost averaging, achieving a return of 0.3% on your overall account balance daily is considered exceptional. Returns between 0.1 and 0.3 are also outstanding and make for a solid target. Our goal is to achieve returns within this 0.1 to 0.3% range, whilst also keeping our account drawdown minimal. Keep in mind that this chart illustrates a daily compounding effect, but in practice, we'll actually begin compounding on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. We're going to assess our gains periodically and adjust our strategies to align with our target. To achieve this, we require three essential components. A TradingView account equipped with our custom script, an exchange for fund storage and order execution, and a reliable third party to manage and execute our script commands on the exchange. Technically, a third party is now optional, as the script is now compatible with Bybit directly. However, since Bybit Direct only supports leverage trading, and leverage trading is not available in my country at the moment, I will be using an additional third party to manage our trades. The good news is, work is already being done in the background, so soon, with some slight modifications, the script will be available to use with Binance Direct, OKX Direct and Pionex Direct. If you're using a third party bot provider like me, remember to always do your own research as there's been a history of security breaches and mishandling of data, which is exactly why I will always prefer to go direct to exchange if possible. Currently, I've chosen three commas as my third party provider, but my preference may change in the future. For maximum security, you'll need to store your crypto in a hardware wallet or cold storage. Unfortunately, to my knowledge, it's not possible to trade directly from a hardware wallet. So we'll be using an exchange to hold our funds and handle our trades. There's hundreds of exchanges to choose from. We'll be using the exchange Binance. It's one of the largest exchanges globally, and it's used by millions of people. It's got low fees, and there's a great selection of coins to trade. I personally feel reasonably safe using their platform. However, just remember, not your keys, not your crypto. And storing large amounts of funds on exchanges can be risky. Just take a look at FTX, the second biggest crypto exchange that recently crashed. Now that we've got an exchange, we want to decide on what the majority of our funds will be stored as and what we'll be taking our profits in. We've got several options to choose from the most popular being USD Tether, USDC, BUSD, PAX, and DAI. 
Just like having all of your cryptocurrency on an exchange, there's also risks of having all of your crypto stored in one stablecoin. It's possible that the stablecoin, although it's meant to be stable, it's still technically a cryptocurrency and it could suddenly drop to zero in what's known as a DPEG. This has happened before with stablecoins like Tron and Luna. You've also got the option to store and take profit with coins like BTC. This approach can be particularly beneficial when both BTC and the traded coin are positively trending in your desired direction. I am cautious about keeping all of my funds in BTC because as it fluctuates in value, it would greatly influence the total value of our balance. To provide our viewers with a clearer picture and more accurate reflection of our gains over time, We'll keep things simple and use a stable coin for both storage and profit taking. Coin selections. To give us the best chance of hitting our targets, not only do we need to be quite specific about picking the right coins, we also want to be vigilant about avoiding picking the wrong ones. This is the complete list of all coins available for spot trading on Binance with USDT. There's hundreds to choose from. What this list doesn't tell you is that there's two types of coins. Coins with a maximum supply and coins with an unlimited supply. As a general rule of thumb, I don't want to trade anything that has an unlimited supply. For example, Bitcoin is easily one of the largest cryptocurrencies globally. The availability of BTC is capped at a fixed number. We like this, and Bitcoin isn't the only one that operates like this. Even if you lose access to your private key, those Bitcoins still exist, although they're inaccessible. In contrast, some coins like Ethereum, Solana, and Dogecoin have an unlimited supply. This allows their owners or developers to create new coins or remove them from circulation at will. It means their market value can be manipulated. The value of any asset is influenced by supply and demand. If suddenly the demand for that asset goes up, the market value goes up. Inversely, if the supply goes up, the market value can go down. For this reason, I prefer to not engage in long-term trading of unlimited supply coins. Interestingly, this is exactly how stablecoins maintain their peg, and even our traditional fiat currencies like the real US dollar or Great British Pound, they're printed in huge quantities and simply minted into existence. Regardless to all of this, I may however still consider trading new coins that go against this policy in order to capture some very temporary and explosive gains, but I'd like to make a point that this will only be for a small portion of my trading portfolio. Which brings us on to our next subject, volatility. We want to steer clear of coins that have little to no price movements. Without fluctuations in price, even an excellent strategy will struggle with profits. We need coins with some degree of volatility, as they offer greater amounts of opportunities to take advantage of. Another way of mitigating risk whilst trading is considering something called correlation. Correlation simply measures the relationship between two coins. So if we look at BTC and ETH, for example, both coins are highly correlated with another. If one goes up, the other goes up. If one goes down, the other goes down. If we trade both of them, or worse, if our portfolio consists of coins that all move in the same direction, we run the risk of putting all our eggs in one basket. A truly diverse portfolio will have a selection of coins that have zero correlation with each other. This brings us on to our second trading tool, the Symbol Searcher. With this nifty tool, you can easily search and compare different coins simultaneously to find the most volatile ones whilst also identifying coins that are already correlated to the ones you're trading. That way, you can diversify your portfolio and avoid putting all your eggs in one basket. We'll go over more details of the symbol searcher in a separate video, but for now, we're gonna continue with exploring settings and backtesting. So what are our strategy goals? What do we want to achieve? Our strategy should enter at good opportunities and exit at good opportunities. We want it to be universal to all coins and be resilient and able to weather significant market downturns or sudden market crashes. It should yield a reasonable return on investment. 
It should be low maintenance and provide a steady passive income and come close to reaching our daily targets. These are the complete settings I'll be using to trade eight different coins simultaneously. They are the default settings when opening the advanced DCA tool with the exception of the time frame being set to one minute and we're also using compounding. The date today is the 1st of November 2023. These are the coins I'm going to trade. Now it's time to set these trades up for real. As you can see, we've got 10,000 USDT in our Binance account. And our first step is to purchase some BNB. This will grant us a 25% discount with trading fees. $50 goes a long way. Now that we're in free commas, we're going to create a brand new bot and we're going to create all of our alerts. If you want information on how to set up these trades, please check out some of our other videos where it goes into much more detail. Here, I'm just going to repeat the process of creating webhook URL alerts and the process is identical for each of our eight coins. I'm just going to offset each of the starting points by a few minutes just to ensure that they all enter independent of each other and there's no overlapping that might cause issues. Perfect, so that's all of our eight bots set up. We've got a $10,000 account. We've cherry picked the coins we want to trade. We've got an excellent strategy that we've back tested over multiple different scenarios. We have our target of anywhere between 0.1 and 0.3% daily. And with time, we'll report back on the progress and performance. And hopefully we have an interesting journey that you can follow along and we'll monitor and review some of the trades that the bot is making that's all for today's video. If you'd like to leave some comments down below on the things you'd like to see along this journey, give the video a like, subscribe, use the bell icon so you don't miss any of the episodes. And that's everything. Thanks very much. Cheers. Goodbye.